Well, the materials that are actually building up the scaffold happen to be the same exact materials that build up bone. And therefore, this scaffold is a bone friendly, bone healing device. We have strong indication that over the course of six months, we can regenerate bone that is biomechanically competent. And by that, I mean that the bone has the same characteristics of the bone that was there to begin with. So over the period of six months, we have extensive bone growth within the scaffold. And in tandem to that process, we have the degradation of the scaffold that slowly goes away and is replaced by new bone. And our results in the longer term basically point that we have truly regenerated the form and the property of the bone that was missing there. We had previously shown that acting at one of its receptors on cells that adenosine can promote bone uh, growth and regeneration. Rather than put adenosine in directly, which has a very short half-life even locally, we thought we would increase the local levels of adenosine by putting in a compound, dipyridamol. We take these scaffolds, we coat them with collagen, and then we essentially soak those in a, in a solution containing the dipyridamol. Everything that we have done and developed here happens to be custom built uh, with some very sophisticated chemical engineering and materials engineering process. We think that in terms of reconstruction uh, after accidents or whatever for people who've had injuries to uh, their face or other bones that, uh, um, that this could be very useful. In addition for children um, with things like cleft palate or uh, other sorts of problems that this can be very useful because the bone that results from growing on the scaffold uh, and the scaffold eventually is resorbed and goes away, but the bone that's there is normal bone and presumably will continue to grow as the, uh, as the child ages.